hello students welcome to my channel in the coming videos i'll be solving case studies which are newly concept introduced in 10th cbsc standard mathematics so in coming days i'll be uploading as many as questions possible please watch share and practice so first question reads on 71st republic day parade in delhi captain rs meel is planning for parade of the following group first group of army contingent of 624 members behind the army band of 32 members the second group of crpf troops that is central reserve police force with six sorry 468 soldiers behind 228 members of bikers these two groups are to march in the same number of columns this sequence of soldiers is followed by different states chanki which are showing the culture of respective states the first question what is the maximum number of columns in which army troops can march always remember if there are two values and they ask maximum number we have to find hcf you have to find hcf so here they have given army troops so we know army troops they have given two that is there is 624 army men and which are behind the members of 32 band people there are 32 band people and 624 are marching again we know even the school parade also there will be band people in front and behind there are some march for students too so we have to calculate hcf of 624 and 32 now so we know euclid division lemma that is a is equal to b q plus r formula so i am using this formula so here a is 624 and b is 32 so the same thing we are following it 624 and b is 32 so when you divide it So thirty two ten times is three twenty and thirty two twenty times is six forty. I am getting so we'll go with nineteen. So we'll check whether it is possible with nineteen or not. That is nineteen and thirty two. So eighteen one carry three. So three nineteen is it is fifty seven. Sorry. Seven to carry. So three ones are, and again I'm getting fifty-seven. Yes, correct. Eight, ten, one carry, and six. I'm getting six not eight. So the remaining is sixteen. So thirty-two. So next, you know that this has to be carried here. Procedure. So two times thirty-two, and I'm getting zero. The so last I'm getting as sixteen. Sorry, thirty-two is equal to sixteen into two plus zero. So obviously R is zero, then sixteen becomes the HCF of. So therefore, HCF is sixteen. So now, so what is the maximum number of columns in which army troops can march is sixteen. Hope you have understood this. So next question, that is question number two. Same way, maximum number of columns of CRPF troop can march. Same method, use the above method and solve it. I'll give the answer here. It's CF of four sixty eight and two twenty eight because the army CRPF contains four sixty eight soldiers as well two twenty eight bikers. Bike bikers also are there again. Two twenty eight bikers are. So when you do it, solve it, you get HCF is twelve. 
solve in the above method itself. Next, they are asking us what is the maximum number of columns in which the total army troops and CRPF troops together can march. That means you have to calculate the common factor in which a number which divides 624, 32, 468 and 228. Then already I have calculated the common factor for these two that is 16 and 12. So I am required to calculate the common of 16 and 12. So the same method I am using it. So here using A is equal to 16 and B is equal to 12. So I get 16 and it is 12. Ones are 12, 4, 12. So it is 3 times 12. So what is the number I am left of? I mean, what is the value of B such that R is 0, 4. And obviously the maximum columns possible is 4. So next they are asking us, what should be subtracted with the number of CRP of soldiers and number of bikers so that the maximum number of column is equal to maximum number of columns of army troops. What should be subtracted they are asking us. So we have to subtract. What should be subtracted? So subtracted means the maximum number of CRPF and bikers. What is the maximum number of CRPF bikers we are getting? We are getting is 12 maximum number of uh, CRP of and bikers we are getting as 12 and maximum number of uh, columns of army troops we are getting as 16 16 and here it is 12 so I have to subtract some number from CRPF so that the maximum number that means the HCF of CRPF soldiers uh, and the number of bikers should be equal to 16 they are asking us. So what is the number number of soldiers we have? 468. That means 468 and 228 we have to subtract one number that what will be the value to be subtracted. So let us now so if their maximum value is 16 then obviously this number has to be divisible by 16. Let us check with this. So 16 twos are 32. So left over is 14, 8, 9s are 44, 144, and left over is 4. Same way, so this is question number 4. And the same way we are doing with 228, 16, 1s are 16, and it is 68. 4s are 64 and 4. So obviously 4 is left over. If I subtract 4 from 6, 6, sorry, 468, that is if the value of soldiers is, if the number of soldiers, the CRP of soldiers is 464 and if the number of bikers is 224, then obviously this 464 and 224 will have an HCF of 16. So what we are subtracting now, we are subtracting 4 from both number of soldiers and bikers. So option A is the correct answer. Hope you have understood all the four questions. Now we have question number 2 as we will solve and we will approach in the same way. Shalvi wants to organize her birthday party. She was happy on her birthday. She is very health conscious, thus she decides to serve fruits only. She has 36 apples, so number of apples is, apples is 36 and the number of bananas they have given, they are serving bananas also. So bananas is 60 and at home and decide to serve them. She want to distribute fruits among the guests, she does not want to discriminate among guests so she decides to distribute equally among all. 
so how many maximum guests shall we can invite obviously i told you maximum means we always have to find out hcf so hcf of 36 and 60 so obviously 60 is a is equal to 60 and b is equal to 36 so we will be dividing 60 with 36 twos i can't go so it is ones are possible six so it is five and it becomes ten four and it is 224 and again i get 36 36 24 so again it is six sorry that is 12. so again if you divide 24 we get twos are 24 and r is equal to 0 so from 12 i'm getting r is 0 so then this becomes the hcf so therefore hcf of 36 and 60 is 12. so now maximum number of guests can accommodate is 12. so now how many apples and bananas each guest get so there are how many apples now 36 apples we have question number two this is question number one so we have 36 apples and obviously there are 12 guests we will divide it we get three apples in each apple same way we have 60 and we divide it we get five bananas each so bananas each so obviously it is three apples and five bananas it is option a so we decided to add 42 mangoes also so now there is an another third fruit being added to the menu that is banana so the number of fruits happens to be 36 comma 60 comma 42 now i have to find out all three hcf of all three now so you can just go with prime factors if you wish to find out hcf of all three again or else we can just go with the common number multiple using our options also if i go with 12 12 does not 12 dis divides 36 uh, and 60 but not 42 and 120 does not divide 180 so option of b and d is gone you can just go with elimination method so now option with the 12 is not possible because 12 does not divide 48 so what is hcf is hcf is that number which divides all three given numbers again that's that cf is a number which divides all three and that is a minimum possible number which divides all three again so so obviously the leftover option is C so answer is C again so it's CF of if you want to do it you can just do using prime factor method and find out but you can just directly because you can uh, minimize the time and use it to other questions here how many total fruits will each guest get it now obviously we got it there are six guests coming now because 42 mangoes have been added so you can divide with everything with six so if you just divide 36 with 6 we get 6 apples if you divide 60 with 6 you get 10 bananas if you divide 42 with 6 you get 7 mangoes you can just find out mango so 6 10 and 7 so it is option b so hope you are understanding so next if salvi decides to add three more mangoes and instead of six apples so now six apples being removed and we are adding three more mangoes so now fourth question sorry fifth question so now three more mangoes so number of apples reduced to 30 and bananas as it is but mangoes increase to 45 how many maximum so you have to find out hcf of all three we'll go with elimination method same way 12 does not divide 30 but it divides 60 but not 45 30 30 divides 30 and 60 not not 45 and go to 15 15 divides 30 60 as well 45 also so 24 does not divide it so obviously so you can go with elimination method and find it so option is c this method is easy to solve multiple choice question and you need not to spend more time in solving the problems again so you can minimize the time in some questions and utilize that wherever required again hope you have understood understood these two questions in the next video we will be doing other two questions thank you if you have any doubts and any queries you can just comment below